sing tonight, Dean, thank you. For the first time since the 1940s, Americans are reaching retirement in worse financial shape than their parents. An estimated 10 million above the age of 65 are still working. That is a number that has more than doubled since 1985. In tonight's Eye on America report, Mark Strassman introduces us to a man who, like others, may never be able to retire. If I had have planned harder when I was younger, and if things had went better, I wouldn't be going to work this morning. I'd be going fishing, or I'd be going hunting. I'll say your name. Or I would be have her up going on a little trip somewhere. I'll I mean, that's in my mind a lot, and I blame myself for it. We'll just go ahead and punch right in. <laughs> Morning. Here, here's your sticker. Tom Coomer is still working. Bye-bye. He's 80 years old, part-time greeter, five days a week at Walmart. Hey, Good to see you. Y'all have a great day. Hello, hello. Tom Mark. Good to meet you. you. We met at this store in Wagner, Oklahoma. I heard you're basically the mayor of Walmart. Is that true? You know what? Well, I'm, I'm close to it. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you worked here? Be um, born on nine years. Nine years. I'm only going to work 30. <laughs> Coomer is a kidder, but why he's still working is no joke. When you got this job, you needed this job. Yeah, you betcha I did. When you lose your retirement at a big place like McDonnell Douglas, you need a job. In 1994, McDonnell Douglas closed its plant in nearby Tulsa. Coomer, a machinist, had worked there 29 years. And all of a sudden, the loudspeaker come on, and it said, attention, McDonnell Douglas will close in 60 days. And I mean, we stopped and looked at each other and thought, what in the world? To me, that was just like you'd walked up and slapped me in the face. Because all your plans... All my dreams was just then going out the door. He was 56 years old with an 8th grade education and one year shy of a full pension. Financially, the Coomers have never recovered. Over the years, they've burned through retirement savings, downsized their house and lifestyle, but still have a mortgage they can never pay off. The average American over 65 lives at about $4,100 a month. With his Walmart checks, their Social Security, and his partial pension, Tom and Ellen Coomer live at around $3,100 a month, more than $1,000 less than the national average. Is this the retirement that you imagined? No. No. Tom's wife of 63 years has four heart blockages and diabetes. He calls her every break. I just wanted to check on you and remember I'll be in a little after 11. Never get her out of my mind. Had her too many years, I can't afford to lose her. Have a good day. Tom Coomer. All righty. Worries. He'll never be able to afford retirement. He likes to work and needs to work. But I feel guilty, too, because he's having to work at his age. It hurts me that I can't do for her what I want to do. Do you feel like the American dream came true for you? I was right at the door, but I never did get to go through it. Here's Mark Strasser reporting.